I would say some of the key challenges are remaining compliant uh, to the various regulations and governing bodies across the world, maintaining a resilient supply chain, one that's nimble, cost-effective, but yet can respond to the changing environment quickly. The affordability of medicines is our main goal. So we need to ensure that our products reach patients. And that's what we have to do with collaborations with robust and reliable partners. We're in a great position to have launched five biologic products. So with those launches become some pretty strict temperature control all the way from shipping to the first paying customer. So we're dealing a lot with making sure that all our providers all the way through the supply chain are making sure that the product for the patient is getting there safe and secure and in a high quality manner. We're looking for the capability of being able to, to transport biospecimens, patient samples from clinical trials from a clinical site back to a central laboratory location. Oftentimes that means that we're coming out of emerging markets where the infrastructure and the logistics aren't so clearly coordinated. So for a logistics company, I'm looking for somebody that can successfully negotiate those lanes and get my samples in a very timely fashion. Some of the challenges and the opportunities that we have is to ensure that we're being nimble because a lot of our product mixes now are becoming high value, small volume. So trying to be agile and be able to forecast and determine the changes in our supply lines is key. Regarding ocean transportation, all the time we need to be very aware of what's happening with all the carriers and if they're doing alliances and things like that. So we need to have the eyes on the market to see what's happening. We're now finally seeing some of the regulations uh, catching up to those growth of emerging markets and that has become a challenge for us today and we see that challenge continuing for probably the next few years as well. And we're expecting a lot more from our providers on technology, inputs, milestones, cold chain, measurements. So all those things I think we're expecting more and more and it's become a digital environment. I think we expect our suppliers to do the same.